A heartbroken Stockton family grieving the loss of their loved one, now questioning if he could have survived if transported to a closer hospital. I wouldn't want anybody else to go through what we had to go through. The only, only trauma center in San Joaquin County is having to turn away major medical trauma patients after being temporarily restricted to accept such cases. So what's behind this sudden change and where are patients being sent instead? CBS 13 Sharin Roger is live at San Joaquin General getting answers. Sharin? Christina and Tony, it's been one week since this hospital has not been allowed to accept major trauma patients. We're talking about victims of shootings, stabbings, and crash injuries, and it's mainly because the hospital is not in compliance with some staffing requirements, and patients are having to go as far as Modesto. This was her family member, you know. If what if the hospital he would have took him in, he would have probably still be here with us. The family of 32-year-old Jose Nunez Jr. is grieving his death and have serious reservations about him having to go all the way to Modesto to get treated after being shot Tuesday night. I was really shocked at the time that he had to be sent so far away, you know, not even airlifted. Nunez was shot in front of this Stockton home. He was alive and conscious while being transported. The nearest trauma center was San Joaquin County General Hospital, 6.5 miles away, about a 13-minute ride. But since last Friday, the hospital has been forced to turn away patients, and Nunez was taken to Doctors Medical Center in Modesto, 27 miles, a roughly 34-minute drive. Every minute's important. The county's only trauma center hospital has been found out of compliance with several staffing requirements by the county's emergency services management, mainly the need for all doctors to be board certified. The biggest one they feel that's most important for us is that we have board certified critical care training positions in our ICU. And again, I think that's really important that the community know that once reestablished, we'll have a better uh, physician staffing here in our hospital. Meanwhile, major trauma patients are being transported as far as Kaiser in South Sacramento and two Modesto hospitals. This time it was us, but I mean, this could keep happening. Families like Nunez's say with each day that this is delayed, lives are on the line. As um, citizens of Stockton, we deserve, you know, this to be addressed as soon as possible. Now, AMR has not added any additional ambulances at this time, but they're keeping an eye on this situation. They say depending on the patient's location, they're seeing delays of about 20 minutes. Meanwhile, the hospital is working on credentialing. They're working on hiring those board-certified physicians, and they're hoping to be fully operational by October 31st, if not sooner. Got a feel for that family. Lots of questions there. Shirin Roger, live for us tonight. Thanks.